Hi everyone, we're going to talk today about creating tooltips and drill through pages. So I'm going to show what they look like and then we'll go and actually see how to create one. Okay, so a tooltip page basically allows you to hover over part of your chart and have additional information pop up that, that allows you to see another dimension of data, for example. So this these charts we see here, we're looking at a coffee shop and its sales um, by employee and its sales over time and actually you'll see if I hover over the employee's name and you it actually brings an additional pop-up for us and we can see that the split of sales across three different stores so there's two stores in New York one store in Long Island and you can see that this this employee Jordan has worked at all three of those and the sales then break across the three. Um, and uh, that's an additional dimension of information that we wouldn't be able to fit into the chart otherwise. It's very, it's different to a traditional tooltip, which usually just pops up a few other fields worth of information. Um, this one is a kind of in context chart. If I now move down to Candace, we, only, we see that that employee has only worked in store eight. Um, and then we see in general, most employees only work in a single store. Um, what we can also do is exactly the same thing on this chart so we can see that sales on a particular day and we can see how they're split across stores. So that's a tooltip page. Now the other item we're going to show here is drill throughs. So a drill through is where you right click a part of a chart, hover over this drill through icon and go to drill through and then we get a different experience this time. It takes us to a completely different page and gives us row level detail on that page. So on this one you can see that this particular employee you can see the numbers of uh, records, the number the, the numbers that she sold in, in terms of uh, these beverages sales from from the shops. So um, you can do exactly the same on this chart as well if you want to. You, if I if I change this around a little bit we'll be able to drill through on that chart also. Um, so how do we go about building these two things? So first thing I'm going to do is to create a new page and this will be our tooltip page. I'm going to call that tooltip demo. And the, the first thing I need to do is to tell Power BI that this is going to be a tooltip page. So I just go to up here, to, up to here and I say always use allow users tooltip. You can see immediately this becomes very tiny and I can actually zoom in to be able to see what's going on a bit more. The reason for that is it's showing us the actual size. So when I go back to this main and show you again, if I hover over that, that little tooltip is the actual size that we were seeing when we started to create this. So um, you can change it. So if you want to, you change first to tooltip and then you say, custom it keeps the settings of tooltip but then it can you can make it taller or wider or whatever you want so if I say 400 in there um, and I say 300 then that will be much larger when it pops up let's do it that way so we now need to put a visual into this page so let's choose a visual type so maybe a column chart um, probably not a stacked one actually we probably want a um, clustered one and let's just reproduce what I did with the with the other tooltip that we saw so we're going to put the the store ID um, move my video out of the way we need the store ID in the x-axis and we need the quantity sold in the y-axis there's our chart and the only other thing we need to do is to say which fields from the main page do we want to trigger this tooltip page. So we're going to say actually we want the staff ID to trigger it. So I'll go to this employee lookup, drag the staff ID into this, sorry, drag the staff ID down into the drag tooltip fields here, like that. again 
There we go. So it's saying show this tooltip when the staff ID is used as a category. So what I'm going to do now is actually delete my original tooltip page. And it should still work, but this time it's going to show us the other the other tooltip. So if I hover over, ah, sorry, I know why. It needs to be the employee last name, not the staff ID. That's my mistake. So if I put last name, sorry, put last name into the into there. And then go back to main. This time it'll work. There we go. So we have the same tooltip view that we had before. It's slightly larger this time because we changed the dimensions of the canvas. So that's the tooltip demo. The last thing I would say is we would also hide that page because we don't need it to be actually navigatable by the user. We only want it to pop up in context when we hover over. So then the drill through page. For that one, you, you don't change the canvas or, or select anything um, <clears throat> in terms of turning it into a drill through page. You just build whatever visual you want on the page. And then you have this option at the bottom saying drill through. And then you drag in all the fields that you want to trigger the drill through. So again, let's rebuild the drill through page from scratch. So we'll come in here. I'm going to zoom back out again now so we can see the full canvas. Um, and I'm going to just create a table, make it the full size of the drill through page. Um, and I'm going to insert some info in here. So let's say that we want the main thing we're interested in is actually the revenue generated by that particular person. Um, we might want to see their quantity sold as well. We might want to see the types of product that they're selling. So let's say product. Um, and to be honest, that might be enough. And um, we'll reorder this just to make it look a bit nicer. We can format it as we would anywhere else. So let's go to a preset and we'll just call it bold header, flashy rose. Um, and then if I go back to, so we'll call that drill through. And we now need to tell Power BI what should make this page accessible. So what's my pointer? Where's it gone? There we go. So it says add drill through fields here. So on this one, I'm going to say we want to see transaction date. There's a drill through field and we want to see employee last name and allow us to drill through that way. So if I go back to the main again this time, now when I right click this, we have the drill through option, click drill through. There we go. And we can see the products that that person sold. So this particular person is, seems to be particularly good at selling the large dark chocolate beverage. Um, and then this one, if I go to right click here, Drill through, we'll get a different result, I'm sure. Yeah, this person's selling a lot of lattes. Again, um, you'll notice this arrow appears automatically. So as soon as you start using drill through, Power BI puts a nice navigational button so that people can go back to the main page easily. Then should, same thing should work down here because we put transaction date in. So if I drill through again, it's going to show us all the transactions on that particular day. So on, on that day, in we seem to do pretty well with this sustainably grown organic large beverage. So that's the, that's the difference between tooltip and drill through. Um, 
I would say that in general, tooltip works well where you want to see the information still aggregated in some way and you want it to pop up on the page. Drill through works well where you're trying to actually get down to a line item level detail potentially. Um, and you know, we should always avoid putting huge tables on the main page of our report. If people want to drill down to that level, then we can always make that available using this functionality.